Music, Excel, Worksheets, Scales, Intervals, Modes, and more. Constructing the adjustable scale and chords tables for the other modes built off of the major scale, otherwise known as the Ionian mode. Here we are in Excel. If you don't have access to this workbook, that's okay because we basically built this from a blank worksheet but started in a prior presentation. So if you want to build this entire worksheet from a blank sheet, you may want to begin back there. However, you can start from this point, possibly looking at this from more of a music theory standpoint. However, we do recommend actually making the tables that we are working on either in Excel or possibly just with paper and pencil because the act of constructing the tables and then trying to visualize how these tables relate to tables that we have constructed and will be referring to in prior presentations is a useful exercise. If you do have access to this workbook, there's multiple tabs down below. The example tab representing the end product, the final worksheet we will be putting together. The number tabs representing the part of the worksheet that we put together, numbers coinciding with the related video presentation where we worked on that part of the worksheet. Let's go to the example tab to get an idea of where we will be going and what we have done thus far to get there. The end product we're looking at most useful part most likely being the fretboard and having our ability to map things out on the fretboard color code them such as mapping out chords, mapping out the scales. Noting that we're going to build the fretboard with the low or heavy string, the top string on top. And the reason we're going to do that is because we want everything going the same way from the same perspective, left to right, top to bottom, as though we're visualizing our guitar from behind the guitar, which is typically where we are when we play the guitar. So in order to populate the notes and be able to have this color coding over here, we then need the chords and we need the scales. That's what we're constructing this time. Now, last presentation, we constructed this table for the major or Ionian mode, major scale or Ionian mode, which is in essence our key. That's the mode that we refer back to most of the time, even though all the modes are basically related and it's like a physics thing where it's a, it's a matter of your perspective. They're all tied together. But that's going to be our key for most of the Western music, which we're going to have then the notes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, listed here, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, with the key of C. We don't have any sharps and flats, so that gives us a nice check figure to see if we have everything populated properly. And then we're also going to have the chords, meaning it's going to be a major represented by the capital uh, Roman numeral, minor, minor, major, minor, uh, I'm sorry, major, major, minor, and then diminished. That's going to be the chords. That's usually what you need to know the basics to, to make music because now you know the notes and you know which chords are going to be major, minor, and diminished from them. We can then map out those chords by looking at the notes within them we make a chord by making the one, three, and the five. We could hide this column, the two, four, and six, so we just see the, the notes that are usually used to create chords, which is just skipping every other note. So, and then we can, we can map that out here as well, and we can go further than just the one, three, five to the seven, the nine, the 11, and uh, the 13, if we visualize it not just as a triad, which has a minor triad, but the entire scale. So this is basically that why we say it's the Dorian scale is basically being mapped out this way, right? And this is going to be the Phrygian scale is basically being out, mapped out this way. We pick every other note in order to make our chords. Typically, we also have uh, the interval construction. All right, so then what we're going to do now is take this same concept and then build all the modes underneath it. So here's the Dorian mode. You might say, hey, look, I already have the Dorian mode up here. Why do I need the Dorian mode again? It's right there listed out this way. But if we have the related Dorian mode down here, then we're going to get the added in information of the intervals. And we're also going to see it as the one this way from top to bottom. And then we're going to get our chord constructions uh, going this way with it as the one. And uh, and so we also within this worksheet can change 
and say, maybe I don't want the related mode, but I want the complementary mode. So in other words, for example, you might think of all these modes, I would call them the related modes. My analogy being like, this is you, we're Ionian, because we're looking at it from that perspective. And all of these related modes are in our family. They're all under the same roof. They all use the same chords. And if, so, but if I was to look at the complementary mode, making this a four, right? Now I'm gonna say this Dorian is complementary. I'm still the same here. We have the C, but now, now we're saying that these people aren't, these are like cousins and whatnot because you've got some things in here that are not the same notes, right? So it's a complementary mode. Those are the two ways that we typically will be using this in music, right? We're gonna say, here's the related modes. They're all the same key. They're all the same notes. It's just, what's the home tab? What am I focusing in at as the, the thing that I'm playing around? What's the tonic? And then I can, I can switch from like the key of C major to like C Dorian, uh, right? And that, and that means I have different notes that I'm gonna be playing. And so this worksheet will allow us to do both of those uh, pretty nicely. All right, so that's gonna be what we're looking to do at this point. I'm gonna put this back to uh, a six. And then what we've done thus far to put this worksheet together is we mapped out the notes, A through G sharp. We numbered them, which is useful for our coding uh, in Excel, but it's also useful so in practice. So therefore, in the worksheet, I'm putting both what I call the absolute number, not relative, absolute number of the note and the note uh, letter. And then I also mapped out the, the uh, modes, remembering that the modes are relative, just like the theory of relativity. It depends on where you're standing, but we're always standing in Western music on the major or Ionian mode. Therefore, I'm gonna number everything from that perspective and think of the numbering system as absolute numbering system for the, the modes. So if I say it's gonna be a, the third mode, I'm usually gonna say it's the Phrygian because I'm looking at it from the perspective of the major scale. And then I can also represent that with a Roman numeral, which gives me the indication that the third is of a Phrygian is minor, therefore it's a minor mode. We mapped out all of the intervals. There's only 12 of them because there's 12 notes. So that's the number of distances we can have. You can measure the intervals as related to a ruler in inches and see the different combinations of, of inches, which we then defined with our abbreviations. And so here I gave the abbreviation and I added the number of inches because, or in this case, half steps. And then we got our musical formula over here, which is the same musical formula that repeats after seven notes. And that's why we call the modes a matter of perspective when thinking about the related modes, because I can start from any of these places. We typically start from an Ionian or major scale, and therefore we get this pattern that will then repeat. But if I started on the second one down, I'd get a different pattern. It's the same pattern, but it started from a different place. That would be the Dorian. Then uh, we took that information and tried to map out the relationships of the related modes. And we then looked at the intervals in terms of units that we can compare and contrast between the modes. And then we formally named those intervals uh, with the naming construction that is as tight as possible because the naming constructions are are useful to tell you as much information as they can with the smallest naming construction. But as we do that, we lose some information like the half steps. So that's why I'm adding back in the number of half steps. All right, so all of these tables were then used to construct our major table, which we we first constructed with numbers and then we and then we constructed it down here with the letter and the number. Notice how much more information this is. Even if I just had the letters, it's gonna get messier, especially when you get to like sharps and flats. If you can see the musical alphabet with the corresponding numbers, it's cleaner because you don't have the sharps and flats that you're worrying about. 
I'm not caring which way I'm going. I'm just going to call it an absolute number. And that's easier to see sometimes. The sharps and flats come in handy sometimes. So if you can actually code switch between the numbers and the letters, you might find that it's actually easier to look at this or look at a fretboard like this with just the numbers as opposed to this. Look how much more cluttered this is. And again, it would be cluttered even if I didn't have the numbers in it because of the way I referenced the sharps and flats. And I'm referencing the sharps and flats as cleanly as I think I can with just two letters in it. So in any case, let's go back to the to the uh, 6040 and we're gonna basically just continue down. We have the major over here that we have constructed and I'm just gonna copy this down and we're gonna now construct the next mode which is the Dorian. So let's take this whole thing. I'm gonna copy this, copy that. I'm just gonna paste it right here, control, and then I'm gonna adjust what needs to be adjusted so i'm going to call this the dorian so maybe i should pick this up from like well i'll just type it in there dorian it's going to be the dorian mode now i'm going to have to adjust the formulas for the modes the formula for the interval and then the formula for the notes over here so it's referring to the proper table and or proper column so i just want to note up top when i pull the table in for for this th to pull in the modes I pulled it in over here. That's only going to work with the major scale. So I actually want to be pulling for the rest of them. And I probably should change that top one so everything is consistent. But I should be pulling from it down here, which has the same table for the start. But then the Dorian, here's the table I want to pull in. So this, these are the information. Now, I could just say equals this number, but I'm going to use the X lookup in order to pull this in. So I'm going to say, all right, let's actually go over here and say do, do, do. we're on the Dorian so I'm gonna say let's just delete this and do it again it's gonna be equals the X lookup tab and then I want to find this number one comma and then where's that gonna where we're gonna get that I'm gonna go back on over here and say we want to find that from this column and so here's my formula up top I'm gonna say f4 in the keyboard so I can copy it over so there it is, it's absolute, and then comma, and then what do we want to be returning? We want to be returning then uh, this column. Now note, you, you might have just been able to say, I just want to say equal this column and then copy it down rather than the reference, but I think the reference kind of gives another indication that, that we're looking at this in relation to the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the Dorian. I'm gonna say F4 on the keyboard and enter, so now we have, if I look at this, this one is not absolute. So that one is going to copy down. When I copy it down, the tables that I'm pulling from are absolute and therefore the tables will remain the same. So if I copy this down, I should be able to go boom, 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 boom. And so there we have it. Now, so notice what this is saying. This could be a little bit confusing and possibly a little bit different than you might see in other references because this number one, sometimes people just represent it as a, a, it would be a lowercase Roman numeral number one. But what I'm going to do here is say, look, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the Dorian, the first, the second, the third position. And then I'm going to show the Dorian. And I want to give an added piece of information to show that I'm using the Roman numeral two that's lowercase that shows one that the Dorian mode that we're going to construct over here will have a minor chord construction and also the two will tell us that it's related to the second position of our relative major scale. So we can always tie it back to the major scale. So that's why I've referred to it that way. So if I start on the Dorian, then of course we're going to go Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, Locrian. That's the end point if we're thinking about it from the perspective of the major scale and therefore it goes back to the major scale or Ionian in the next one. All right, let's look at the intervals. If I look at the intervals, I'm using an X lookup table and I pulled that in from over here. So you can see the X lookup table is pulling. This is correct, but I don't want to pull the intervals in from the Ionian now. I want to pull them in from the Dorian. And again, we probably could have simplified this by just saying equals this amount and then copy it down instead of the X lookup looking up over here and then pulling it, but they both work. So I'm going to say, this is going to be the second bit of the table. I'm just going to delete that second bit and pull it in from here now. And then F4 
So there we have it. So I changed that. So now we have it's pulling in from the table. So now this is the, the perfect first and, and then uh, major second and then it's a minor third. So that's a good indication that hopefully we got it correct because it has that minor third because it's a minor mode. All right, and then let's pull in this information. Now this is our key, meaning this is gonna pull in for the Dorian from a default to the related, to the related uh, note, which is gonna be the D or a six because it's the Dorian starting from this position. So that's gonna be our key and then I'm gonna apply my formula. Now, if I look at the formula, it's taking that note plus this number two. That's not what we want. We want it to be taken from over here. So let me just delete this whole thing. It's probably easiest in this case, just to say, let's just start this over. Delete, delete. This represents a D. A six in our, in our numbering system is a D uh, if we number it from one to 12 on the notes. So the next, the next one up is gonna be uh, according to our formula over here, meaning it's gonna be from the Dorian perspective, whole, half, whole, 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 half, because the Ionian is whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. And if I start on here, the two, it would be whole, half, whole, 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 half, whole. That's what we have here, whole, half. And then if I start from here, uh, going this way, I get the same formula. Whole, half, whole, 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 half, whole, back to the Dorian. So that's what we're, that's what we're gonna pull in here with a formula. We're gonna say, all right, if I started on a six, I would say this, it, it's gonna be this, plus the next note is gonna be according to this formula on the Dorian, which is two, gets us to eight. And that makes sense, but we run into the problem that that's gonna go over 12 and that'll be a problem. So right here, when it gets to 13, it should really be a one. So, because it should be 13 minus 12. So I have to do a fancy formula and it's gonna be a logic formula equals if brackets, brackets, I'm gonna say this number plus, and then I'll pull this in from my formula plus this on the Dorian, closing it up and then let's go back on over and say, all right, there it is. And then I'm gonna copy that because I'm gonna repeat it a couple times, copy. And then if that is less than 13, because there's only 12 notes, so it's, it's gotta be less than 13, not equal to 13, just less than comma, then do that, add those together. But if not, do that again, but we want you to then subtract 12. So if it's less than 13, just do that. If it's not, do that, but then subtract 12. Boom, boom, there it is. Let's copy it down and we can see, okay, it didn't go over 12. Now we have our double check because we're in the related mode to C major. Remember C major is a great thing to work with because it doesn't have any sharps and flats, which means it's a double check in a similar way from an accounting perspective. We can see if something is in balance by seeing if the double entry accounting system's in balance or that the debits equal the credits. Here, similarly, the related mode also only has, doesn't have any sharps and flats in it. So if I say, okay, we're starting on D, E, F, G, A, B, C, no sharps and flats, looks like it's doing it properly. So there's our little double check. We'll do the same thing up here, equals if brackets, and I'm gonna, and I could actually copy the same formula because it's really gonna be this, uh, actually, let's just do it again. Equals if bracket, bracket, and I'm gonna say this number plus, and then go up and say, now we want this number plus to, 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 to this number, the same, the same one, and then I'm gonna copy that, copy. If that, closing the brackets, is less than 13, then comma, do that. But if it's greater than 13, still do that, but subtract 12 to get it back to one. And there's our eight, and we should get the same pattern going this way by copying it out, boom, 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 boom. And there, and so we've got eight, nine, 11, one, three, four. And I don't wanna go out past here because these three are repetitive. 
So the 9 equals the 2, the 11 equals the 4, and the 13 equals the 6. All right, so let's check that. D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Uh, where's the D? C? Oh, yeah, and then E, G, B, because these are skipping every other note. So that makes sense. And no sharps and flats. So I should be able to copy these either way. I can copy it this way. Do, 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 do. And then does that work? E, F, G, A, B, C, D, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, good. And then I can also do it this way. I'm not gonna deal with these three over here. I'm gonna deal with those separately. Copying that down. Does that still work? E, F, G, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So it looks like it does. And then these are just going to be repeating those notes. This is equivalent to the two, four, six. So I'll just copy that down this way. And that looks good. So if I, if I look at, at this cell, this it's pulling in, you know, this formula here. So that's the idea. I think, I think that uh, makes sense. Let's try another one. Let's try it again. And so the next the next one is Phrygian. So let's see if we can copy. I'm just going to copy this whole thing down and go do, do, do copy paste and we'll repeat the process again. I'm just going to type it in here and call it Phrygian. And so then I have to adjust this, this, and then the numbers over here. So it might, so I might just delete the numbers now. So actually, I don't need to delete all the numbers. I'll keep the 9, 11, and 13. I'll delete these. Let's just delete all that. And then I'm going to double click on the Dorian and say, okay, I need to start on the table for the Phrygian. So now it's on the Dorian. This is the right table, but I need to be over here. So this last bit in our formula, I'm just going to say, get rid of this last bit and pull in the Phrygian. There it is, F4, making it absolute. Now it just starts on the Phrygian, copying it down. And does that make sense? We're gonna say, well, if I start from the perspective of the Phrygian, so now I'm saying the one will be the Phrygian mode, which is a minor mode, because it's gonna have a minor third represented by that lowercase uh, Roman numeral. And that lowercase Roman numeral three tells me that the Phrygian is equivalent to the related major scale by being the third of the major scale. So that's the idea. And then if I start on Phrygian, I would go from Phrygian to Lydian to Mixolydian to Aeolian. Then it ends at Locrian. That's where the little dot is for the, for the diminished. And then it goes around the horn again to Ionian or the major scale and then the Dorian. So I think that makes sense. Let's take a look at the intervals, double clicking on the intervals going back on over and say that now it's pulling in from the Dorian side. So I'm just going to take that second bit and say it needs to be pulling in from the Phrygian for crying out loud, F4 on the keyboard and enter. And then I'll copy that down. And the Phrygian's also a minor mode, which I can see by the lowercase here. It has a minor third. So that gives me at least a little confidence that we did it correctly. Hopefully we did it correctly trying to get some internal controls to double check our data input. And so then we're going to say, all right, the Phrygian, by default, I'm going to make it the related mode, which is equivalent to the third. So here's the Phrygian. So it's going to start on the eight, which is an E. So I'm going to start on the eight. And then I'm going to do my same formulas over here. I'm going to say this equals if brackets, brackets, that number eight plus the formula for the Phrygian is the same formula, but instead of being like whole, whole, half, we're going to start on this half. So there's the half. We're going to start on that half. So plus that. So if that plus that is brackets less than 13, then I'm going to copy this. Do, 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 do. Then I want you to just do that plus that. But comma, here's, see, that's comma if it if it goes over 13 then do that again still but we also want you to subtract 12 so that you don't end up with like a 13 but rather bring it back to a one so boom closes up the brackets let's copy it down double check it 
copy it down and then double check it down here. This is just referring to the notes above, right? And these are just referring to the table above. So I think that works, but hold on, we have a problem. This name convention here should be pulling in from that name. So let's do this. This name convention here should be pulling in from that name. Okay. And then double checking. There are no sharps and flats. E, F, G, A, B, C, D. Right. And the C ties into the Ionian. So that makes sense. All right. So then let's do it. Uh, let's do it the other way then. This equals if brackets, uh, brackets. And then I could paste this again because it's the same thing, which is that eight. So it's the eight and the one, if that and that, closing the brackets is less than 13, then do that plus that. But if not, comma, then do that still, but add or subtract 12. Close up the brackets, enter, copying that across, copying that across, copy that Roger out, Roger, and then we say, okay, does that make sense down here? E, F, G, A, B, C. And then we're repeating uh, A, B, C, D. And then we're repeating F, A, and C for the two, four, six, because we don't like the even ones when we make chords. Evens for evens are out when we make chords. We just use the odd ones. That's why, we're, that's why re musicians are oddballs, because they only use the odd ones. All right. So if we copy that across, then it still looks like it works. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. We don't have any sharps and flats. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay. If I look at this, I can say, what's it doing here? It's taking the prior one doo -doo -doo, and then adding the formula going down. Notice I could do it the other way. I could say, well, instead of copying it across like that, I'm going to copy it. Oh, hold on. Undo. I'm not going to do this for the 9 through 13 because those are different. I'm just going to copy these down and I could do it this way. Do I get, am I still good with my check figures? E, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. It looks good. C, D, E. So it looks like no sharps and flats. It's a little bit more difficult to see what is happening when we copy it down this way. But just to take a look at it, if I look at this number two, we could say what is happening there? Well, we started at the Phrygian, it's going to take us one to get to the next step. If we then take a look at this one over here, now we're going to say relative positions, what is happening. We started on the Phrygian, now we're over one and down to the next one down. So you can see kind of the, the relative uh, positions there, hopefully. So you might want to like spend some time and have that kind of make sense, let that sink in to how the table is working, going vertically and horizontally. But Let's copy it down so we can just continue with the rest of the modes. We're going to repeat the process a little bit more quickly so we can throw this down. We're going to copy this again and paste it down here. And then I'm going to say this is going from Phrygian. So now we're on the Lydian. So this is going to be Lydian. I'll just type it in there. And then we're going to adjust this. So I'm going to adjust this. I'm going to delete that. I'm just going to double click then on this table. There's our X lookup. Where is that pointing to? It's pointing to the Phrygian. I'm going to delete the second bit of the table because now we want it pointing to the Lydian. And then I'll just say F4 on the keyboard and boom, copy it down. Bam. So now we're saying that the one of the Lydian has a major mode. And it's going to be a major chord indicated by the and it's related to the major scale because the one is equivalent to the four uh, of the major scale. And we know the one, four, five of the major scale is is a uh, uh, major chord that would be constructed. So that makes sense. So now I'm going to say, all right, then over here. So then we go if we start at Lydian. Then from that perspective, it would go Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, and then we end it Locrian. That's where we normally end if from the perspective of the major scale. So therefore, the next one, if we go around in a circle, is the major or Ionian, then the Dorian, then the Phrygian, back to Lydian. Let's double click on the uh, intervals. 
So here's our intervals pulling in from Phrygian. So I'm just going to delete that second bit and pull it in from the Lydian now. F4 on the keyboard, closing it up and copy that down. So now the minor third has changed to a major third. That makes sense. Gives me some confidence that everything is pulling correctly. By default, I'm going to tie this to the related major scale. So here's the Lydian up top, which is a nine, which is an F. So I'm going to say that's going to be our default so that we have the related uh, modes down below. But of course, we can change that key. If we wanted to see a C, we could just change it to a four, right? And so then we're going to do our formulas equals if brackets the one let's do two brackets if bracket bracket that plus the formula for the Lydian which is doo -doo 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 -doo. here's the Lydian formula so remember the major the major formula whole whole half whole 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 half if I start here that's what we're going to do on the Lydian we're just going to say all right the Lydian is going to start at that two and then have the formula so it's going to be that plus that I'm going to hold and then I'm going to copy this Control C and say if that is less than 13, then comma, do that. But if not, comma, then do the same thing, but subtract 12 so that if you go to 13, it'll change it to a 1, 13 minus 12. Enter, enter, copy it down, double checking to see if it does what we would expect. No sharps and flats, F, G, A, B, C. The C ties into the Ionian, that makes sense. Uh, D E. Okay, that makes sense. Let's do the same thing the other way. Equals if brackets brackets. I'm going to paste the same thing because the first cell reference is the same. Close up the brackets is less than 13, comma, then do that. But if not, comma, do that minus, uh, minus the 12 and close it up. And then I'm going to copy that across. Do, 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 and I should have a parallel here, here to here. It's the same. All right. And then if I see it across this way, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. And then the repeat of the two, the repeat of the four, the repeat of the six, because we don't like the evens. We don't like the evens. And then if I copy it down this way, do, 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 I still have no sharps and flats down here. So that looks good. If I Control Z. I think it's probably more intuitive to copy it across this way. And then if we check one of these numbers, for example, we're on the Lydian and then we're ne the next column over. If I pick this one, for example, and go up top. So we were on the Lydian and now we're like the next column over. So I'm going to say, all right, I think that is correct. And I can kind of double check it down here because it looks like it's populating the proper uh, alphabet of uh so for here example for example g a b c d e f and i know there's there's at least no sharps and flats so that looks like we're going in the right direction let's do the next one and do the same process so now now we're on mixolydian i'm going to copy this again we'll just copy that paste it down here and i'm just going to type it in mixolydian and then i'm going to delete this bit and then I'm just going to change this reference, double clicking on it. And we're going to say that's pulling in from our table for the Lydian. I'm going to now delete the last part of the formula to pull in the table for the Mixolydian F4 on the keyboard for it to be absolute. So I can copy it down. Therefore, the one for the Mixolydian is going to have a major chord construction because it has a capital Roman numeral and its equivalent to the five of the related major, which makes sense because I know by heart that the one, four, five of the major makes is our major chord constructions from it. If I look at it from the perspective of mixolydian, it would be mixolydian, aeolian, or minor, and then back to uh, the end, which is Locrian, which is usually the end from the perspective of a major or Ionian scale, which means it's going to go in a circle starting over again, major or Ionian, then the Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian. Let's, dub let's change the intervals. So the intervals are now going to be tying out to the second bit is no longer the Lydian. We want the intervals to be for the Mixolydian, which is also, and hold on, I have to, 
Okay, what did I do? I messed up. Messed it up. Let me fix that again. I'll do it again. Do 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 it. Mixolydian and then F4. Choo. And then I'll copy that down. And we know that be, the it should still have a major third, so that at least looks good. Gives me some confidence that I didn't mess up. And then we're going to say this is going to be equal to, I'm on the mixolydian. So if it's a related one, here's the major. Mixolydian is the 5, so it's going to be starting at an 11, which is a G. So then we're going to say this is going to be equal to our logic function if brackets, brackets, the one above it plus the formula. Go into our formulae up top for the mixolydian. So we have over here for the ionian, it's whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. If I started at mixolydian, I would just start at that two and do the same formula. That's what we have over here. So I'm gonna say that plus that. I'm gonna copy it, duh, duh, duh. close up the brackets. If that plus that is less than 13, then comma, that's what the comma means, do that. But if not, comma, that's what the comma means, then do that minus 12, close it up and boom so then so then it goes right to the one immediately which is an a copy that down double check it down below does it have any sharps and flats g a b c there's the c which ties into the ionian that makes sense d e f no sharps and flats i think we're okay let's do it again here now i think this formula is actually the same going the other way to start with so so notice if i copied this cell over here it's not going to work because it's moving the relative references but if i go in here and i just copy it this way then i could just that's my same starting point and i could just say okay that's what i want to start with to do and then i'm just going to go boom and paste it inside and i believe that's the same starting point i can then copy it this way and the relative references will go this way and we should be good to go i have the same a b c d e f uh, and then A, B, and C, A, C, and E. All right, I think that makes sense. And I can copy it across either way. Let's just do it this way this time. And do I have any sharps and flats? I think we're good because here's the C, D, E, F, G, A, B, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. I think it's good. Let's do the next one because we're running long on time. You're taking forever, man. You're pulling too much time. You're breaking your own rules. Okay, here we go. We're going to copy this one down and we're going to copy this down and paste it down here and this is going to be the aeolian i'm going to also call it minor because it's the minor scale which is in modal terms the aeolian and i'm going to make that one blue i'm going to make this one blue because it's special and these ones up top shouldn't be green because they're not special i'm going to take all these these are just the normal ones except the one that's supposed to be green i'm holding down control to highlight them at the same time and then i'm just going to say those are just normal and so normal white but then the major special green and then normal white and then special blue for the minor or aeolian the two modes that we compare to most often the most often compared to modes all right, and then I'm going to delete this stuff, get rid of that. Double click on the mixolydian, which needs to be changed to now the aeolian. So I'm going to delete the last bit here and just say we need the aeolian. Bam, F4 on the keyboard, enter, copy it down, double check it. So we're going to say aeolian is, if I start on the aeolian, it's gonna be a minor mode indicated by the lowercase Roman numeral. And I know that that's also telling me that the Aeolian or minor scale is the sixth of the related major scale, which I know to be true if I'm on the sixth from the perspective of the minor scale or Aeolian, then I go to the seven, which is the Locrian, which usually is the end from the perspective of our, our normal perspective of the major scale. So it's gonna go back around to the major or ionian then the dorian then the phrygian then the lydian then the mixolydian okay so then i'm going to double click on the intervals and go all right intervals don day so i need to change it from mix from the last bit of this formula it needs to go from there 
to the aeolian a a and so we're going to say f4 boom copy that down that's a minor so it should have a minor third instead of a major third so that gives me some check that we're good to go and so now let's say that the first note if we're looking at the the related mode is going to be equivalent to the aeolian in the major scale so there's the aeolian which is the sixth it's an a which is represented by numbers as a one and then i'll do my formula equals if brackets brackets this number one plus the formula for the aeolian which is simply taking the major formula whole whole half whole 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 half but starting from here the aeolian that's what we're doing here it's starting from that too closing up the brackets well let's copy this du -du 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 -du. copy then close up the brackets then say that's got to be less than 13 if it's less than 13 what do you want us to do cop just do that then but if it's comma if it's greater than 13 still do that but then subtract 12 before you finish close it up boom copy it down double click bam double check that we have no sharps and flats a b c d e f g the c is the tying into the ionian or major scale that makes sense i'm going to double click in here copy that formula copy and then just paste it here boom that's my starting point copying it this way bam and then same thing a b c d e f g makes sense copying this along this way bup, 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 bup. and then now we've got c d e f g f g a b c no sharps and flats so i think we're good to go let's do one more good to go let's do one more we're gonna say do, 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 the locrian the least used locrian let's copy that and paste it down here this one's not special so we're not going to make it well it's kind of weird weird special but it's not like our major focal point so we'll say get rid of that and let's call it locrian it's it's special because it's crazy it's loco i'll tell you that okay and so then we're going to say don't keep it going don't fall apart now we're almost there but i'm, I'm hungry i don't want to finish it right now you have to finish strong here we're going to go through in this last bit we're going to say this is going to be the locrian f4 and then boom we're going to copy that down bam so locrian then if we look at it from the per and let's delete all this stuff boom if we look at it from the perspective of the locrian then we have the diminished indicated by the dot and small which means it has a minor third and a flat fifth on it and then if i and i also see that 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 number tells me that it's it's equivalent to the seven of the major scale and if i start on the locrian from the perspective of the one the next one would be around the horn of the major or ionian and then the dorian the phrygian the lydian the mixed lydian the aeolian back to the locrian okay and then the intervals double clicking the intervals and we're going to say that's coming from the aeolian we got to change that last bit to the loco locrian i'm scared of locrian because he's loco man Lokian's loco is not that big he's not that big it's like the woke people they're not that big but they're crazy they're crazy you don't know what they're gonna do <laughs> so you're just, i'm just gonna stay away that's what you that's what you do typically but no i you have to you have to interact with the with the loco locrian because it does have some interesting things to share here so we're going to say that's going to be equivalent to the three which is a b if it's the related mode and then we'll do our if equals if brackets brackets the one above it plus and then we're going to say do, 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 and then go over here and say if this was the formula whole it would be whole whole half whole 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 half but if i start on locrian we're going to start on that half that's what we're doing here so it's going to be this plus this copy that if that plus that is less than 13 
then that's what the comma means do that plus that but not if not that's what the comma means do that plus that but then subtract 12 so it gets you to the 13 to 1 instead of going to 13 close up the brackets por favor please if you would and then going down and checking it do we have any sharps and flats there's the b c the c lines up with the ionian or major scale that makes sense d e f g a good let's copy it this double click i'm going to copy that whole thing boom copying it that way and then paste it here bam and copy it across boom but not to the 9 10 and 11 which should just be like the same formulas as these because that's just the that's just the evens oh now i messed that up this is just the evens that we because we don't do the evens we work in oh uh, man i missed hold on yeah that makes sense that makes sense okay and then if i look b c d e f g a okay and then we can copy this across okay copy this across to here copy these down to there and then as everything lining up i've got f g a b c d e and then a b c d e f g so i think everything lines up uh so maybe I'll, and and we try to use our double checking there so i think it lines up so i think we're good to go so now we have all of our worksheets that are all of the related modes which we can easily then change to the complementary mode if we wanted by just changing this key instead of it being equivalent to the two to this one for the dorian i could just make it a four and then if i do that i get sharps and flats right because it should hopefully be pulling in the proper numbers related to now the the the, the c dorian instead of the related d dorian which is going to give us the sharps and flats so hopefully if we've got all the formulas correct we should be able to change that key and then be working in any related modes i can work on the related modes by just changing this to like an 11. so now these are all the related modes to a g which only has that that one uh sharp or flat in it and that's it and so then uh and and then i can and then i can change or i can change it to a four and then change these to be the same number for example so that i have the complementary modes all right so now that we have the worksheet we can next time build our fretboard over here so that we can then map out the chords and whatnot and see how they're going to play out on our fretboard which is possibly the most useful tool for normal day-to-day -day practice